Now let's solve the graph of function y is equal to fx is equal to cos x. Cos x is 1 upon sin x. So this function is defined for non-zero values of sin x. Sin x can take all its possible values but not zero. Okay, na? Jab sin x zero hoga, to ye function defined nahi hoga. Now first let's consider interval zero to two pi. In this interval, sin x is zero when x is zero or pi or two pi. So for these values of uh, x, zero pi and two pi, cos x, x function uh, does not exist. It is not defined. Okay. Now consider x is equal to pi by two. Now here we first draw the graph of function sin x. Okay. From the graph of sin x, we can easily draw the graph of its reciprocal function. Okay, na? Now sin pi by 2 is 1. When x is pi by 2, value of sin x is 1. So uh, cos x pi by 2 is also 1. So on the graph of cos x, x function, we have this point pi by 2 comma 1 because cos x pi by 2 is 1. Okay, na? Now consider interval pi by 2 to pi. This is second quadrant. Here sin x function decreases from 1 to 0. Okay. Since sin x function decreases, its reciprocal function cos x, x will increase. Sin x decrease or to uska reciprocal function increase karega. Theke na? So we have this graph of cos x, x function in interval pi by 2 to pi. We cannot take x is equal to pi because cos x pi is not defined. But when x is close to pi, when x is uh, smaller than pi but very close to pi, value of uh, sin x approaches to 0. Jab x ka value pi ke bahut hi close hoga but usse chota hoga, to sin x ka value 0 ko approach karega and when sin x approaches to 0, cos x, x approaches to plus infinity. Thik hai na? What is 1 upon uh, tends to 0? Uh, this value tends to plus infinity. Okay, so we have this graph of function cos x, x in second quadrant in the interval pi by 2 to pi. Now consider first quadrant x belongs to 0 to pi by 2. Here sin x function increases from 0 to 1. Okay, that means cos x, x function will decrease. Here sin x increase kar hai, to cos x, x function decrease karega. We cannot take x is equal to 0 because sin 0 is 0. And uh, 1 upon 0 is not defined. That means uh, we cannot take x is equal to 0. However, uh, we can take value of x very close to 0. Okay. So when x is close to 0 but slightly more than 0, then value of sin x approaches to 0. Agar x ka value hum, uh, 0 ke near lenge, 0 0.000001, to sin x ka value kya hoga? Kisse approach karega? 0 ko approach karega and 1 upon tends to 0 approaches to infinity. So we have this graph of cos x, x in the interval 0 to pi by 2. Okay, na? Now sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So cos x 3 pi by 2 is also minus 1. Now consider third quadrant x belongs to pi to 3 pi by 2. Here sin x function uh, decreases from 0 to minus 1. Okay. Then how you will draw the graph of function cos x, x. The graph of cos x, x will be like this. It increases. Sin x decrease kar hai, to cos x, x increase karega. Hai na? We cannot take x is equal to pi because sin pi is 0 and 1 upon 0 is not defined. However, we can take value slightly more than pi. When x is slightly more than pi, value of sin x approaches to 0. But from negative side, sin x ka value 0 ko approach karega but uh, uh, 0 ki negative side se approach karega. Take care, eh? When we are on the right hand side of pi, value of sin x is close to 0, but this value will be negative, say minus 0.00001 and reciprocal of this value is minus infinity. Okay. So we have this graph of cos x, x function okay. in the interval pi to 3 pi by 2 in third quarter. Now here in fourth quadrant sin x function increases so cos x, x function will decrease so graph will be like this okay. So this is graph of cos x, x function in the interval 0 to 2 pi. This is one complete cycle of cos x, x okay. 0 se 2 pi mein sin x ka ek complete cycle hota hai. So 0 se 2 pi mein cos x, x ka bhi ek complete cycle hoga okay. 
Now this is one complete cycle of uh, function y is equal to cos x in the next interval of width 2 pi from uh, 2 pi to 4 pi we have same graph of cos x. In 2 pi to 3 pi we have uh, this graph and in 3 pi to 4 pi we have this graph. So from here we can say period of cos x function is also 2 pi. Period of function cos x is 2 pi. Okay. What is the domain of the function? This function is not defined when sin x is 0 and sin x is 0 uh, when uh, x is integral multiple of pi. Okay, na? So domain of function will be all real numbers excluding set of uh, numbers n pi where n belongs to set of integers. This is domain of function cos x. x. Okay. And uh, what will be the range of the function? You can see that here value increases from 1 to infinity and here value decreases from minus 1 to minus infinity. Okay. So, range of function is range of function is minus infinity to minus 1 close interval union close interval 1 to infinity or we can write like this all real numbers excluding interval in fact open interval minus 1 to 1 this is range of function cos x x together similarly we have graph of function in the interval 4 pi to 6 pi and then from 6 pi to 8 pi and so on we have graph of function in the interval minus 2 pi to 0 then from minus 4 pi to minus 2 pi and so on on the left hand side for negative values together period of function is 2 pi and we can easily get this graph from the graph of function sin x. Really this height is more than this height. So we have log of x2 to the base a greater than log x1 to the base a.